Hello, friends. Hope you are doing good. In today's lesson, let's do some grammar. I'm going to brief you about the use of both, either, and neither, and their sentences as well. So let's get started. We use both, either, and neither to talk about two people or things, both, one, and other has a plural noun. Either one or the other has a singular noun. Neither, not either, not one, and not the other has a singular noun. For example, do you speak French or Spanish? I speak both languages. Which one is easier for you? Either language is okay. How about writing? No, I can't write very well in either language. And your wife? No, she speaks neither language. Now, put in both, either, or neither. Number one, both sisters are studying in January. Do you want to come around tomorrow or Friday? Either day is fine. Do you like Brussels and Amsterdam? I don't know either city. Use both hands to carry the grass. It's heavy. Both films looked interesting, but neither was much good. In fact, both her sons studied physics, but neither boy works in science. Either shirt would look good on you. Why don't you buy one of them? I don't like either camera, and both cameras are very expensive. He is good player and he can kick equally well with either foot. Which car can I take? You can take either car. Both cars are full of petrol. I'm busy on both the next two Tuesdays. I paid for both tickets, yours and mine. Now, the use of both hands, feet, eyes, or either hand, foot, eye. For example, can you pick up a small chair with either hand? Next example, to move a table, you probably need both hands. You play a piano with both hands. You need both hands and both feet to play an organ. You can kick a football with either foot. You can hold a fork in either hand. You can turn a key with either hand. It's easier to make a bet if you use both hands. People usually watch TV with both eyes open. You can look through a telescope with either eye. I can write with either hand equally badly. When you're walking, you never have both feet off the ground. Now, let's move to the use of which and what. We ask which when there is a limited choice. We ask what when there is a wide choice. For example, which size do you want? Small, medium, or large? What is your shoe size? Sometimes both are possible. Which, what, the next week can you come and see us? Which or what? We have got red wine and white. Which will you have? What books did you read for last year's English class? Which slash what was your favorite subject at primary school? Which English king had six wives? What's your name? Which hand do you write with? What kind of car have you got? I'm going to buy a new carpet. What color should I get? Which party do you think will win the election? Which subject do you prefer? Chemistry or physics? Before of and one, we can use which but not what. Which of the countries in Europe have you visited but not what of? Look at all those stars. Which one is the nearest? but not what one. When there is no noun, we use who for people, not which, 
compare which boxer won. Who won, but not which won. Now, let's move to the use of which, what, or who. Number one, which of the books on the list have you already read? There are two quotes on the bat. Which one is yours? I don't know which earrings to wear with this dress. What time shall we meet tomorrow? Which of your brothers is the one who works in Paris? Who got the job, Andy or Liz? What language do you speak at home? I don't remember which of your parents play the piano. Who gave you that, John or Alex? I can come to your place or we can meet at mine, which is best for you. So that's all for today. Hope to see you next time. Bye.